In this problem, we have to find the derivative of the square root of the natural log of x. So to do this, we'll start by writing the square root function as something to a power. So we have f of x, and that's equal to, so this whole thing is under the square root. So remember, there is a 1 here, and there is a 2 here. So when you have something like this, you can write it as the natural log of x, and then it's always this number over this number. So it'll be 1 over 2. Okay, you can always do that. So it's always that number over that number. Or you can memorize it. You know, if you have the square root of u, that's u to the 1 half. So here we have the square root of ln x. So that's you know, ln x to the 1 half. But it's also important to know that if you do this and this, it's 1 over 2. And the reason is sometimes these numbers change. So it's, it's good to do it. Good to know it. So now we can take the derivative, and to do that, we're going to use the chain rule. And the reason we'll use the chain rule is because we have something to a power, and it's not just x. So we'll use the power rule, and then we'll multiply by the derivative of the inside. So f prime of x is equal to, so bring the 1 half down, so we get 1 half. And we'll leave the inside untouched, so ln x. And then 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half, right? You subtract 1. So you bring the number down, subtract 1. And then now we're going to multiply by the derivative of our inside function. So our inside function is ln x, so its derivative is 1 over x. Again, you take the derivative of the outside, leave the inside untouched, and then times the derivative of the inside. That's the chain rule. Let's go ahead and clean this up. This is f prime of x. And I guess we can bring this downstairs and make it positive so it'll look like this 1 over 2, 1 over ln x to the 1 half, and then 1 over x. I want to clean this up and make it look a little bit better. So f prime of x is equal to, let's go ahead and put this in the front next to the 2 like this, and up top we'll just have a 1, so like this, 2x, and let's turn this bad boy back into a square root, square root of ln x, and that would be a much cooler <laughs> looking answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.